In this tutorial, you'll take off, fly to three different hot air balloons, and return to land at this airport. To start the engine, press Ctrl E or click the ignition switch on the instrument panel. Pull the trigger button on the joystick to release the parking brake or press the period key. To start the engine, press Ctrl E or click the ignition switch on the instrument panel. Pull the trigger button on the joystick to release the parking brake or press the period key. Push the throttle lever away from you or press the F4 key to accelerate. Now pull back on the stick to lift off. In order to find the hot air balloons, use the mission compass and the mission pointer. Press the K key to move the pointer between the three hot air balloons. You only need to fly near the balloons to achieve the mission objectives. Feel free to approach them from any angle. That's one balloon, two more to go. Try moving the stick more gently. That's the second balloon, one left. You've flown near all the balloons. Congratulations! Now it's time to turn back and land at the airport. 
Since the wind is calm, you can approach the airport from any direction. The mission compass and mission pointer have moved to show you where the airport is. This airport has two small grass strips and one long concrete runway. For an extra challenge, feel free to land on one of the grass strips. Grass strips can be hard to see. In this tutorial, the grass strips are highlighted in yellow to help you find them. You can also cycle the mission compass and mission pointer between them using the K key. Now that you're heading toward the airport, reduce power to slow to 60 miles per hour or less. Before you land, make sure your throttle is at idle. Just before you touch down, ease the stick back slightly and let the aircraft settle to the ground. You're going a bit too fast to have a safe landing. Reduce your speed to 50 miles per hour or less. Try moving the stick more gently. You landed on one of the grass strips. You're really doing well.
In this tutorial, you'll learn how to move an airplane on the ground, or taxi. Taxiing is important since you'll have to get from your parking spot to the runway in order to take off and back after you land. You'll be practicing your taxiing skills in several aircraft, but we'll start with the familiar trike ultralight. You're starting in spot plane view in this tutorial, so it's easy to see where your aircraft is. Use your joystick's hat switch or the mouse to look around your plane. To begin taxiing, start the engine and nudge the throttle up just a little to start moving. Use the throttle and brakes to control your speed. You don't want to taxi much faster than 5 miles per hour. To turn while taxiing, twist your joystick or press 0 or enter on your keyboard's number pad. Slow down. Going too fast while taxiing can be dangerous. Taxi slowly. Fast movements increase the possibility of tipping over. Good job! You can save a mission in progress at any time by pressing the semicolon key. Saving is useful if you don't have time to complete an entire mission or if you've just made it through a difficult part. That way you don't have to refly the whole mission if you make a mistake. In this tutorial, you might want to save the mission each time you switch to a new Make gentle movements. Up ahead is the Piper J3 Cub. Move close to it and we'll switch you into that aircraft for a bigger challenge. Great, you're now in a Piper Cub. The Cub is a bit more difficult to handle than the ultralight, but not much. Great job taxiing! Up ahead is a Douglas DC-3. Move close to it so you can get some experience taxiing in a big plane. Alright, you're now in a Douglas DC-3. Your goal is to taxi to the beginning of the runway and take off. The DC-3 is a more difficult plane to taxi. Unlike the ultralight and the Cub, this plane relies a lot more on using the brakes to help you swing the tail around. The DC-3 has a tailwheel lock, which makes it easier to taxi. With the lock off, like it is right now, the tail can swing freely during turns. With the lock on, it's easier to taxi straight ahead. Press Shift G to lock or unlock the tail wheel. Remember, your goal is to take off once you're on the runway. Taking off in the DC-3 is easy. Just line up with the runway and push the throttle forward all the way. Pull back on the stick when you're going about 60 miles per hour.
back now to take off. Congratulations, you're in the air flying the DC-3. Feel free to keep flying or press escape to end the mission. In this tutorial, you'll be learning how to approach an airport for landing. You're flying in a Piper Cub about five miles northwest of the Eagle Creek Airport, which is directly ahead of you. Adjust the throttle to maintain about 70 miles per hour for the approach. The runway in use right now at Eagle Creek is runway three, which runs right to left. To land, you first need to line up with the runway. Waypoint markers have been placed to suggest a good flight path for the landing.
Remember to look around, move the hat switch on top of your joystick, or press and hold the space bar, then move the mouse. Turn to the right now to follow the markers. The mission compass in the upper left corner of your screen will point to each marker in sequence. Look to the left. You should be flying parallel to the runway as we fly past the airport to set up for landing. At this point in an approach, you would normally slow the aircraft down to prepare for landing. This cub is slow enough that you don't need to slow down. Just keep flying at about 70 miles per hour. At this point, we're flying on what is called the downwind leg of the traffic pattern. Adjust the throttle to slow to 55 miles per hour. As you near the runway, reduce the throttle all the way and very gently pull back on the stick to level off. Stay as close to the ground as possible without landing. Eventually, the wheels will touch down. You're going too fast. Adjust the throttle and gently pull back on the stick until you slow to 55 miles per hour. You're going too fast to land. To try again, add power, pull up, and fly back to the first marker. <laughs> 